we both have something in common. You have a yeah. daughter named Frankie. I have a daughter named Frankie. I know you do. I know. Now, how old is your Frankie? She is um, going to be eight next month. Um, okay. And um, her sister Olive is going to be ten. How old is your Frankie? M my Frankie is thirteen. And then you have a uh, fifteen or. A yeah, I have a 15-year-old boy as well. Yes. Is it true that um, Frankie, like, left you a note in your backpack once? Tell, will you tell me that story? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She, um, I was going on a trip. I was going to, uh, on location or something. I was going to be gone for a couple of weeks. And as I was walking out the door, she said, Daddy, I wrote you a note. Um, I put it in your backpack. You can't open it and read it until you're on the plane. So I was like, oh, my God, yeah, of course, this is incredible. And <laughs> got on the plane and and waited till we were in the air. And I opened and found this little envelope and was just so excited. Wanted to turn around and tell everyone that I have a daughter who writes me notes and puts them in my bed. You know, it was all just I was so happy. And I opened this little note and it's it's in an envelope and it's just a, uh, a post-it that's been folded in half. And I open it. And it says, you suck. <laughs> so it's Pranky Frankie. Yeah, Pranky Frankie is right. That's really good. Oh, yeah, Pranky Frankie. Frankie Pranky. And is it true that your parents were like a little liberal with swearing when you were a kid? Is this true? That's right. Uh, my mom was... Uh, when we were in her house, not only me, but any friends I had around from like elementary school on, we could say whatever we wanted. And uh, and so whenever my friends would come over, they, they would walk in and they'd be like, hey, you, Anne. And she'd be like, and she'd say similar things back to them. And they just loved it, loved it so much. Do you know, actually, a funny thing that happened when our son Graham was in kindergarten, he walked up to his kindergarten teacher and told her that he has a f headache. <laughs> and what did the teacher do? She she just said, "Oh, okay. Well, we'll get you um, some aspirin or something." But also, that word we just don't say it at school. But then she couldn't wait to pull Naomi and, and I aside and tell us what happened. She thought it was hilarious. She was really cool. Okay, so is it true that you pictured yourself in a Steven Spielberg movie when you were a kid? We could have been there together. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's all I thought about. Ever since Raiders of Lost Ark. I, I mean, it, people have to understand that in that era, Steven Spielberg movies were coming out like every year almost, and they were all amazing and world change, like, you know, Raiders and then E.T. just, uh, what, two years later, a, a year later, something like that. Um, yeah, E.T. was a movie that I went to see over and over and over again and ended up being the first movie I went to by myself. I asked my mom, like, what if I went to see it again, but just me? Because I had got, I brought everyone in my family, all of my friends, everyone had seen it with me. And, but I needed to see it again. So I just rode my bike to the theater, went and watched it, finished, got on my bike and rode home. And I was so like proud of myself uh, for, for doing that. But also it sort of opened up this whole other world of enjoying movies by yourself and it being an important part of the experience is what you, what you uh, take from it uh, personally and for you.